Hi friends, in this session we will see how you can create a self-hosted build agent on Linux server. So it's very easy to create one and we can use that instead of using Microsoft provided hosted agents. You can select virtual machine on the left side menu to create a VM or you can go to the all services and search for virtual machine. and then select there so that we will create a VM click on add and here uh, my subscription is pay as you go you can create a resource group I have already one test POC so I will just select that or you can click create new to create a new resource group then just give a name for your VM I'm giving one to VM agent uh, it must be unique so yeah there is a green mark so it is unique then I select the location where I want to uh, create this or say east and I will select the image Linux image so which is one to I'm selecting server 16.04 I can select a size for this I will go for minimum size because I just want to create this VM for demo purpose so I will select this B1S you can select based on your requirement and then either you can use SSH public key for login to your VM or password base. I will create username and password which will be a little easier to log in. So test admin and I will give a password. Uh, make sure your password uh, complies with the requirement. See it requires uh, caps and it requires special character and minimum 8 characters in the password. And then you can select the ports which will allow to connect to this VM. Obviously, we will be doing SSH to this VM, so I'll select SSH port number 22 will be open. And once selected, you can go for rest will be default. Now, next disk. I'm not going to choose any option, I will go with the premium SSD which is default here. There are other options also to select from next networking again i'm leaving it as default it will take care of the cider to select and advanced i'm leaving default here you can provide tags i'm leaving it here and then just click review and create so it is going to validate all the parameters and once it has edited, it allows me to click create and now it will start deploying the VM for me. It will take few minutes. Once it is created, you will see it will show up like this. If you click on Ubuntu VM agent, you can see more details about this VM. And here you can copy this public IP address which you will use to log into this VM so that we can configure the build agent. Now I will open uh, Putty. This tool you can use to log into create a session with the VMs. And <clears throat> once you click open, just say yes to this and provide your username, password. We are logged in now. So I am directly in the test admin, the user directory. Now we will go back to our project area and under project settings under agent pools, you see I have already created one pool self hosted Ubuntu agent and under this there is no agent running right now. So we will click new agent button here and it opens up this pop up which shows Windows, Mac, OS and Linux. We'll go for Linux 64. To download the agent, just copy this link and on our VM, we'll try to download the agent. So use this command and paste the link and it immediately downloads it. We'll just do ls to see. Yes, it's downloaded. 
now we will use the next command which is given there we will create a directory my agent and then we will change the working directory to my agent so we are in my agent directory now and we will see here so now we will unzip the build agent file to do that we will just copy the tar command the initial command only not the full path because our path is different and we will provide the dot gz file to be unzipped take few seconds to unzip this now this is unzipped so we will try to configure the build agent now to configure we have to use the config.sh file and the command is like dot config.sh and you will find that it may provide some error and it's asking me to run this script so that dotnet core 2.1 dependency is installed so i will run this and sometime you need uh, root permissions to execute i don't have permission so i will run it as a sudo this will take few seconds to install this package Okay, it is installed now and we can see the files. So we will try to configure it again. Uh, run config.sh command and it will ask and you just enter default then it will ask for the URL. This is nothing but the URL for your project. If you go back to project and we will copy the URL which is your project name .com or dev.azure.com slash your project and then default for pat I will go to security and we'll create a access token so I'll create new token I'll give some name for it say for agent let it for 30 days and full access and create uh, be careful you have to save this token somewhere because once you close this it will be lost so I paste this token and so it's connecting to server now. Now it asks for the pool agent name. I've already created agent pool. To get the name, we have to go back to our project settings agent pool. Under agent pools, we'll select our agent pool which is self-hosted Ubuntu agent. We'll copy this and for agent name itself it is taking the machine name itself so I will leave it default and for work directory again I will keep it default so it's configured now now I will run this build agent by command run.sh and you can see it's trying to connect to the server now and it's ready and it's listening to the jobs if you go back to agent pools and click on agents you can see the agent is up and running and you can use it in your build pipelines now to generate your builds so thanks for watching this video